Hello, everyone. Mommy's not doing the intro today because it is my time to do the intro. You know why? Why? Because this is Dadarino's <laughs> Playtime. And that's going to be the new, that's what this is going to be called. I'm going to do like a thing right here because I have a new editing software. So hopefully I, will, I come up with something that can go right across the screen like that. If not, then you know what happened. That it didn't work out. Why? So I, t because I'm bad at it. Why? Yeah. Really, dude? Why? This is going to be long enough, man. I don't need your sass. You can take your sarsaparilla, take it down to, to, to Sass America, where it's made by Sasquatches, and give it back to them. Because I ain't going to have it. <laughs> I ain't going to have none of that sass. Oh my gosh, Did you guys just... see something weird? Oh no. Ah! Hi! What? No, 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 no. I'm leaving. No, I'll leave this. Everyone's gonna watch how weirdo you are. <laughs> no, wait, look at my masterpiece collection. I can see that. Mm. This dude's a weirdo. Yeah. He's totally. Anyway, this is not what the video is about. This video is about these two Mashuganas reacting. What's a Mashugana? To... Look in the mirror! Well, you too. You're gonna react to. I mean, who well, no, you I already, already. Yeah, well, actually, no. It's not a. It's not a reaction. Though. It's, no, it's actually a rating. How about we go so, first and you go? So, okay. And I'm like, and I'm trying to show over my cool character with my with my with my Tigrex gear. Poo -poo. Actually, this is cosmetic. I'm actually not wearing Tigrex. That's in the armor. back as well. But that in the back. Yeah, that's my Tigrex. That's that's my Tigrex blade, which is a charge. Isn't it a blade, higher but, yeah. upper? It's like <gasps> higher upper. What? Wasn't it higher? What's that yawn upper? you did? What? No, yesterday when I saw it was higher upper. Oh yeah, no, that was a different pose. So I can do, like, here, here's, this is the puzzle I was using, and then here's this one where I'm like this. Look at my cats, because you can make cats. Yeah, people don't tell you in this game, this, which is Monster Hunter Rise, by the way, you build an army of cats and dogs. You literally build an army of cute, adorable things to, like, very, take over the world. You mean this cute. one? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like, right now I have spaghetti and I ketchup like with that, that, that huge all thing. All of my, yeah, all of my pets are named after food, okay, so. Okay, look at that huge thing. Is, is, is that, is that a, is that, that, a, is so that a, um, is that. But we're not, we're not, we're not here to talk about how cool my cats are. Like there's ketchup and spaghetti. I know I spelled spaghetti wrong. I don't care. All right. Uh, so all right. So what's oh, this about? Okay. This is about this is about these two reacting to the monster intros, which is up by my housekeeper right here. Cute. So cute. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna, make sure, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna block off this gallery thing at the bottom here so you guys don't see it. And then all right. So let's 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 get this started because we're wasting so much yeah, time. Come on, let's just get all right. Started. So and then they're gonna rate it. You guys wanna do like one to ten? One to five is up to you. I don't really care. No, I don't. Care. Right. So let's. No, one to ten. One to I ten. Like All right. One to ten. Okay. So. Oh. So we're gonna let's. So we're gonna. Is that a let's wolf? Get, you'll find out. All right, All right. These are cool. Let's get started. Let's get. Let's get started. Caleb's excited. All right. Make sure you guys can hear it. No, I'm not. I hate this. I I hate this so much. It's trash. First comes the vanguard, unstoppable mm. tank. Then comes a second, attacking the flank. Finally, the general. The highest in rank. A trio of blades. Ah! As a game. This is why we're trying to do this here. They cut to the bow and kill without fail. That's all right. I didn't, I, I'm not really ruining one of the cool monsters. This is one of the. This is one of the starter monsters you get. All right. So. I'd say that was pretty cool. Was that just? I hope I didn't distract you guys too much. I'm trying to fix the light um, here. Nine. You give that a nine? Nine. A starting Kayla, monster. Kayla, there's way cooler monsters. What are you doing with nine? A nine? Really? That guy? <laughs> oh crap! What is that thing? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. But all right. So what do you think? So that was Great Azuchi. His main thing is he puts you to sleep and he has like a tail. What do you think? Five. Five. I think that's fair. Starting monsters that are small, like little raptor types, oh, like, they're yeah, not yeah, scary six, with six, the red eyes. Six. Dude, we're not six. even. What are you? Yeah. The red uh, eyes were cool. Okay, so yeah, we're still doing. So they're like scary. any game, you start small. Right. So that was the first. So that's the first raptor. And, okay, so I'm gonna stop being distracted. Like I was really distracted out of the first one, but we're gonna do the next one. Okay, which is uh, great baggy. I think I called them great Roggy by accident, but whatever. All right, let's go. You know, they all have titles too, which is pretty cool. Into a nest, 
littered with previous meals. Oh, this is the one that puts you to sleep. Excuse me. Don't stop. Don't linger. Yeah. Don't sleep in this den. For the beast will find you. And you'll never wake again. Um. Alright, so that was a great rocket. I just realized I don't have my mic hooked in. So this is probably using the thing mic, so this, the audio is probably going to be really terrible. <laughs> I just realized. Um, uh, those, I forgot to hook in the mic. Ah, it's too late. Now let's just start over again. That was a okay. That was okay. So what what rating do you give him? So we have to turn off louder. <laughs> no, I just want sound is good. Why? I say even worse than the first one. Four. Oh, you think Great Rocky's worse I don't like than Izuchi? That was what? actually kind of scary. I'd give the it a. No, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets it scarier, gets. dude. Oh, I should probably tell people like families or whoever's watching this uh, that yeah, it's there's nothing graphically violent, but there are some scary images. So yeah, see keep that, that in mind if you have young people watching. Oh, uh, start from start from the beginning. Go no, to we're gonna, we're just going we're just going like like that. We're going in order in chronological order. Yeah, I know, but like right, go so, two and then two down, and then you don't want to see that. Yeah, oh, we're gonna see them all, man. Yeah, well, we're not we're not gonna see the DLC ones yeah, though. This is this is gonna be long yeah, enough. I know. We're gonna save the DLCs till the next episode, a different episode. All right, because there's more DLC. So now we're gonna watch Kulu Yaku. What the heck is that? He's a chicken. Oh, pog. He, already, steal, he steals already eggs. 10. He's actually from Monster, he was actually from Monster Hunter World. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Is that chicken? Let me see him in a second. There he is. Funny. A threat approaches. It's hunger uncurved. It rakes up its lunch, chows down without grace. But inside this nest, for thieves, there's no choice. Yep, I ran a It needs to escape or get egg on its face. Three. <laughs> Three? <laughs> Nobody likes bird wyverns. Oh my gosh. Steph? What? Four again. Four again. Okay, you know, guys, we're gonna be right back. I'm gonna double check, uh, double check, yeah, make sure our audio is working. Okay, okay so we're so these. we're back. Okay, so all right, so the next one is Great Raggy. Sorry about that. We had to do some technical things. I don't know if the mic changed anything, but whatever. Okay, so the next one is Great Raggy and go. Can we just do that one? No, just a Great Baggy. This is Great Raggy. This is a poison guy. Cursed hunting ground. Those who set foot there never again are found. What the heck? For when the bird wyvern comes and unleashes its breath, its virulent poison brings a swift death. Ooh. Ooh. I like his look. Venomous Commander. He, he likes to cut, G. He's a oh, jeez. <laughs> you died. Alright, so that was the last of the raptors for this game. Uh, and the bird wyvern. So, like, you know, raptor trio. Not the original raptor trio, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> so, okay, so thoughts? Does he really have a pig nose? Pig oh. I guess kind of whatever. I don't know. Caleb? Um, a five. I, li I, like five. How, I like how he charges up his little... Oh yeah, his his neck fills up, his sack fills up. Oh yeah, he has poison. Yeah, because he uses poison. Yeah, he's pretty yeah. cool. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe five, six, six instead. The way that he uh, six. I'll give it six. Four. Kinda cool with it. Well, no, five. Four. Isn't he a cool way to kill? I like the way he kills. Yeah. All right, five. I'm aiming yeah. for like how. It's good fine. Look, you guys can have your own opinions. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay. Uh, on to the next one. Now we're moving on to the bear trio. Now we're stepping it up a notch. We're going to the tier twos. Beer. All right. So bear. the first one is a fan favorite. One of the classics, Arzuros. Leaves 
a sluggish trail. Attempts to sate its hunger prove of no avail. It keeps eating more and more. And with every bite, it succumbs yet further to its destructive appetite. This is just... I wasn't even biting it off. Yeah, well, they don't have the, the, the time to animate and all that. Like, oh, the, the fact his name is Bloodless Incarnate, he's eating a fish. And he eats honey, too. Like, if you have honey in your inventory, he'll steal it, so. Well, he has honey bear. Yeah, he's a bear. He's a literal bear. Um. Okay, so, rate him. I'll give him six because he was kind of cool because he's big and scary. I mean, for how yeah. good the cutscene looks. Yeah, he's I'd a, say he's a, that's a decent, at least four. He, wow. wow. Caleb is harsh. Wait, is a part bear and what? No, he's basically a bear, yeah, just with but he has like spiked armor bits. Yeah. What's the next so one? So his designs for The next one is Legambi, another one of the bear trios. Yeah, where's so, the last bear? We'll get to it. We're going to do them all, all right? We're not doing it. We're not, like I said, we're not doing the DLC. We'll save that for another episode. For now, Legambi. Silver Slider Legombi. I like that. Big old angry rabbit. I like that. Oh. Oh, he got the cameraman. And he's out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ratings. The big old bear rabbit. Seven. Seven. All right, so he gets a good rating out of Caleb. He gets a seven. Mommy? Mm. Five. You don't really five. Spectacular. Yeah, five over here. Yeah. Okay. Just threw a snowball at us. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay, now the last of the bear trio yeah, in this like game. All right, ready for this? Volvodon. This guy. This this is a fun one. He's funny. Oh, so you don't like snow anyway, so. Yeah, I hate. Of course, you're not gonna like Lugombi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I would have given. Oh, sorry. Devoid what are those things? Uh, oh, I forget their names actually. Oh, but I know their names. They just they escape. They escape me at the moment. He's funny. I had to kill a couple. He be rolling. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Guy. They Hayden. <laughs> I like this one. And close. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Sonic. <laughs> he gotta go fast. He's like Your Sonic. Time <laughs> yeah, I like him. Crimson cool. Kennel. Look at that face he has right there. He's cool. yeah. I remember him. Oh. And he's got a tongue. Alright, rating? Seven. What? <laughs> okay, did you say seven. five? Yes. Alright, seven. So not as cool as the Gombi. No. Is that your highest rating so far? I don't like Volvo. Is seven your highest so far? That kitty is. Or so else you I do? think so. Is okay. Okay, now oh, we go another on. Another reason I want to say about that snow one. What? The reason why I gave him, I was gonna give him a four, but I gave him a five because he's kind of big and scary looking. Oh, okay. Rawr! That's it. Though. All right. Okay, now on to the other bird wyvern. I actually most even though bird wyverns are unpopular, I actually kind of like the design of this one. Uh, that, that's all I have to say. His okay. armor is really cool too, actually. Yeah, I use it in one of my cosmetics. A bamboo forest at night. The sound of dancing is heard. Resembling a parasol, but in truth a monstrous bird. Be wary of its figure and its vibrant hue. For once its collar opens, a rain of blood will ensue. In the middle of this eating bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Acnesom, Feathered Frenzy. Ratings. A five only because the colors were pretty. Cool. Uh, Otherwise, I would give it a four. The colors were cool. I like purple and pink. Seven? Why does he get a seven? Yeah, why? 
cool, scary. Yeah, he was scary and cool. All right, that's fine. Yeah, like I said, I think he's actually pretty good design. Well, what's that personally. one? Personally, we'll get to him, dude. Don't worry. No, yeah, that one. Royal. Hey, we'll get to Royal Ludra. Yeah, we're doing it right now. This guy's from Monster Hunter Try. I remember this. I fought him before. A shallow forest stream coursing through the night. Amid the sound of water, a beast prepares to fight. Those who go in unprepared will bow before its might. Bathing in the fires it waits. Using water as a shield. Yellow collar standing proud. Its fang shall never yield. It's terrifying. Oh, it's coming out. It's gonna eat us. <laughs> Main contender. Get it? Uh, Main contender. Wait, yeah, what was the name of it? Cauliflower. Uh, it's What's Royal Ludroth. Oh, oh. So well, it's Tad. It's Tadel's main AKA contender. AKA Cauliflower. Okay. Yes. That, that was pretty. That was pretty good. Yeah. I think that was pretty good. Okay, I'll give it a seven. Um, He's pretty darn scared. He just lunges at you. All right, Caleb gives him an eight. Oh, I seven. Yeah. But I seven. All right, and now uh, here's another classic one. Bad off. I remember this one. Yeah, he was also in World. He was also in previous games before that. I don't remember exactly, but the one that was the one that won. He was not. Oh, mosquito. Desolate wasteland. What? Mosquito? No. Mm -hmm. Looks like one. No, it's a... Oh, I forget what it's called, actually. I don't know why I... I keep forgetting things. Cats are cute. Hi, cats. Yeah, it actually... It actually, it actually uh, uh, paralyzes you. But, yeah. <laughs> and here's some me lynxes there. Aw, the cats are so Seems cute. Seems like the cats don't care. They're cute. <laughs> They're trying to get it. Yeah, the bug is ugly. Oh! Aw, stop hitting them. Okay. And none of them are good. Mm. Kill the bug. Oh no. Oh no, that's okay. That is a weird wasteland warrior. Is that his hat? No, that's his crest. That's part of his head. He's hilarious. Okay. Oh, I see his oh, eyes. Oh, I see his eye. Okay, his eyes are on. Yeah. Oh, and before you rate, I gotta tell you this, because his main thing is that he charges. So before he charges, he actually, like, Let's out steam like a whistle, like a like a steam engine. So, you, so it's actually a cool little feature. I just want to let you guys know that before you rate it. Go. Five, uh, six. Six, because you're kind of scared. Yeah. Oh, All right. So no, real, real. Okay. So we're getting we're getting to the mid tier monsters here. Okay. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. <laughs> Kezu. I remember uh, I wanted Daddy to show how, me. How that. do you pronounce it? Yeah. Kezu. Kezu. Yeah. Kezu. I want yep. to see. I want to All see. All right. If anyone show. knows who who a, what a Kezu is and does not want their children to see it. Look away now. I wanted to see that when I first saw it. Let's I do to this. See the intro. Let's go. It. I was like, I got to go. see the intro, man. If you ever want to see what a raw chicken with a, a mouth Not looks like, you go. Creatures coming out I don't know what to rate it. I hate you. No, you don't even fit well. Find themselves becoming prey to this long, long neck beast. beast. <laughs> Down the hatch they go. Naked. <laughs> Definitely. This is an SCP monster. Well, it Craven is. miscreant to show your mug if you dare. Mm. But when it turns to mm. mm. yes. Caleb, he's coming for you, Caleb. Oh, oh I see an Iron Piranha plant. Jeez. He's scary looking. A sight too much to bear. Ew, Caleb. He's eating Blank you. stare, because he doesn't have eyes. He's going to come eat you. Okay. You Ten. Caleb. Caleb, you rate that one a 10? Caleb, he was looking at He rates that a 10. He wanted to attack you, dude. Are you paying attention? This boy just rated Kezu a 10. A 10? Yes. Dude, there are some fans who would like you as a friend. Okay, yeah. Right. Well, doesn't he have a lot of fans? He does because so, he's so ugly. I give it he has a, his own mm, unique place in the universe. I give in the, it an 8 because he's almost like a horror movie. The way he turned around. Yeah, like, like, like well, Kezu's the main reason I warned people that this thing is Because he is probably one of the most disturbing monsters they've ever made And he has no eyes. That's creepy as heck. Okay. Yeah, I give an eight. <laughs> All right, now we're we're gonna get to see another one of the new ones. Like Actasum and uh, Great Azuchi one were a couple of the new ones. While the rest were returning, we're gonna get to see another new one, uh, Tetranodon, who I kind of like because he's kind of a big old sumo wrestler. Let's go and watch him. <sighs> Floating in water, 
It beckons silently. Mm. Mm, that's creepy. Once its prey approaches, there is no time to flee. Gut and strength alike. Rank among the greats. Oh, he's a fat one. Yeah, he gets all—he he inflates himself. <laughs> Yeah, look, at the, look at that, he's like, Duskoy! <laughs> Amphibious wrestler, Tetranadon. I don't, I don't oh, know if it's Tetranadon or Tetranadon. No, no, that's water. He, he inflates himself kidding. with water. Yeah, he just fills but, up with water. No, you gotta see him in action, though. It's funny, because like he does have a he does have a running animation with that, where he'll pick up his gut and he'll just like zip across the screen. So you just see this fat guy just go, rrr, rrr. Don't get hit by it, though. He yeah, hurts. He is still powerful. No, that's a nine. He is still Kale gives it a nine. No, he, he's a pretty nine. fun monster to fight. I give um, it seven. I if I'm going to be honest. Although seven. he does have a huge stomach, which can really be What's annoying that? to kill. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if that one is under his head. No, I give it an eight. Can you? Can you? Is he hard to fight? Is he hard to fight with that big belly? Uh, He can be if you're not careful. That's what I'm but saying. He's a good lesson, but he's not hard. He is fun, though. Like he, He'll kick your butt if you're not paying attention. Um, but yeah, like as long as you just pay attention to read his moves, he's he's not that hard. I'm seven then. But um, I do like him. I like his design. I like how he inflates himself and oh, he can crush rocks and like do like a rock wave at you. You know, like he'll do like I don't need to call it, but like he'll hit the ground and rocks will be like boom, 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 and it'll hit you yeah. if you don't move. Uh, seven. Um, okay, so enough about that. That's not what we're talking about anyway. So all right, so next one is another one of the new monsters, Bichaten, who is based on oh, Kappa's. So he kind of looks a little bit like a monkey. But and also bird at the same time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, great, Caleb's specialty. <gasps> Monkey. Ooh. On the road to perdition. Nice, and, he, and he likes Stands using fruit to fight. With a devil's Is that mission. Once it spots movement, it puts its tail in position. It's plan to count ah. prey. <laughs> Coming into fruition. Run! For this is its territory. And there is no admission. A prehensile tail, which has a hand on it, kind of like that one Pokemon. Yeah. That was pretty good. I give it a seven. All right, six, seven. Six. Some solid ratings here. Six. Well, that's still above average, though. So. Yeah, I'll give it twenty-five. You don't want to be the ones getting fours. Mm, yeah. I don't want to get it that low either. He also has some really cool armor designs. It, like for some, it, like the the armor design makes you look like some sort of like bird warrior. Yeah, I like how he has wings and pukey, like yeah, and he hangs pukey. and then he shoots no, throws pukey, the pukey. fruit. Pukey, pukey. And he You're one of those people that says puke. I like how he yeah. throws the fruit. Yeah, the the fruit is cool. The fruit actually has different properties. Like some fruit have poison in them, so you can poison you with them. And one of his fruits is a flash. It's basically a flash grenade. It'll flash blind you, flash bang you. All right. So next one is a returning from uh, Monster Hunter World. That's where he's original from. It's Puke Puke. One of the starting monsters. <laughs> kind of looks like a. Well, you'll see. I don't have to describe nothing. You don't describe nothing. I don't describe nothing. You describe nothing. You describe nothing. You describe nothing. You describe nothing. This is gonna be long. Then he's gonna Yeah, but we'll be careful. My new bed. Looking for a snack to swallow. Is that chameleon? Chameleon. He does kind of look like one, doesn't he? Ew, look at that. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Just eat it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> no, no. Not enough, not enough. The beast growls for more. Anything is game for a true omnivore. Glutton is going. And that's how he gets his poison. You know, so yeah, his whole cutscene is like his eating mushrooms. Um, um, ratings. Um, 
Although they don't really show all of the colors he has. Really. He's actually a really colorful monster, especially his tail, but you can't six really see static. it. Uh, six, Caleb. Uh, I'd say also six. Okay, fair enough. I like uh, those six, wings. Two sixes. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm more than six. All right. Another monster returning from world. The one that nobody ever wanted to see. The literal giant mudfish, Jerotoys. The what now? The mudfish. He's a mudfish. Okay. Nobody likes him. How do you know? Because I, I imagine he's a marsh. few fans, but not a lot. Okay, so that's not it. Said to be haunted. Hostile. Haunted. Harsh. Mm. A place of deep peril. A true oh. quagmire. Run! For those who get stuck, face a fate most dire. Sinister Swamp Shadow. How do you pronounce the name? Jiratotus. Hi, you, Itchy. Hi, Itchy, I'm dead. No, you said my ears itchy. Your name is my ears itchy. I know, I'm saying hi to his ear. His name is Itchy. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hi. Ratings! Hi, Itchy. Uh, um. I give it a seven. I like them. Uh, cool. I like the way. Yeah, he, also seven. I like the way you pull them in. Really? And then the guys, they couldn't escape. So you guys clearly don't understand the Monster Hunter world here because, I mean. No, because I like the way you pull Jirotodis, them in. Jirotodis is always a one. No, he pulled them in. So overriding like, both your ratings, like he gets a way, one. No, I like the way he pulls in, and then the guys in and he couldn't escape. That was good. Oh, well, that's great for a cutscene, but not when you're fighting them. Right, I'm just kidding. Yeah. He's, so when you fight him, it's too know. easy. Is that what you're saying? No, it's, it's, it's just not. He's not a. He's not a great monster. It's not. That's fun. your opinion. It's my fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, moving on to Pasarios, another returning monster. Not from World. He wasn't in World. So, so these are returned from other games, which makes it kind of cool because if you don't find him in the previous game, you can find him in the next game. In the darkness of the night, fragrant blossoms bloom. As bandits prowl out of sight, a sudden resounding boom. This is not the mountain's roar. Do not be mistaken. What seemed like rocks are rocks no more. And as soon as they awaken, The monster shows its actual form. Yeah. Both prey and earth are shaken. The bellowing boulder. Basarios. Yeah, he literally just looks like a giant rock monster. They should show what they do more. Yeah, well, well, that's for the fight. That's This is just the intro. Like, you're gonna see what they do when you fight them. Yeah, but what if you don't fight them? Maybe you're just watch. What's the point of that? Like this. What if you're just watching intros? No, well, that's because we're not rating their fight. We're rating their looks. Uh, I can talk about their fights all day long. Uh... Well, we're both. All right, Caleb? Basarios, what do you rate him? Six. Six. Wait. Seven. Seven. Mommy? Because uh, Caleb likes rock monsters. I guess because he's... I mean, what's kind of cool the way he glowed... Yeah, actually, it can let out like fire. And, he, and he looked like he would kick their butt with that ending, and he's like, Ooh. I guess a seven. Yeah. He does have a laser beam, too. Oh, and that. Okay. Alright, now we're moving on to some of the higher. I I think higher tier monsters? I don't know. I'm bad at, I'm bad at remembering the t how the tiers work in this game. But I can fight monsters. That's all that matters. Okay, so mm. moving on to Somnicanth, one of the new brand new monsters made for this game, based on the Japanese mermaid. Yeah, this one's cool. Yeah. A miraculous spring, clear as children's song. Deep runs its stream, elegant but strong. A lullaby is sung, soft sounds of 
seduction. Its dulcet tones inducing sleep and serpentine destruction. So perfect siren. Creepy. Yeah. There. So her whole thing is being a siren, and she basically s sleep blights you, so puts you to sleep. And her hair. It looks like it's hard, dark hair. Yeah. The fit. The giant fin is supposed to look like dark it, it, hair. It, it, it tricks you. I think that was terrifying. Team. Yeah. It's Which means you like it, I guess. I gave it. I give an eight out of ten. Yeah, that's a creepy one. And actually, looks like a mermaid a little yeah, eight. bit. Eight. Okay. Looks like a mermaid a little bit too. Like yeah. Right. Well, I shouldn't move like oh, eight out of ten. Let me, get, let me get back in that light. Okay. Because I don't want that light in everyone's faces. Okay. So now we're moving on to one of the classics here, Rathian, the Queen of the Skies. One of my personal favorites, although she is a bit lower on the list now because of so many other monsters. But I still think she's a great starting monster. Maybe not a great end game monster, but she's a great starting monster. Oh, I didn't read her title, but anyway, that was Rathian. Was it? Did it say Queen of the Skies or something? Or Queen of the Light? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, that's a classic monster, the the Queen. So, What's ratings. What's again? Rathian. Oh yeah. Rathian. Or Rathian. I always Definitely forget. Definitely give like an eight. I like that. Uh, yeah, she was a classic. Uh, Very cool. Six. I like the tail and everything. Hmm? Six. Six? All right. Kel wasn't that impressed. Oh. Okay. Now we're definitely going to one of my favorite monsters, uh, Barioth. You'll see why. I mean, he's a mix of just so many cool things that I like. A biting cold. <laughs> it just starts with the cutting of deep. Enter its domain, and the price will be steep. Don't fall for the charm of its shining white gown. For it will tear you up before taking you down. Ooh, flurry of frosted fangs. Bury off. I like the majestic look he was giving off, too. Is that a saber toothed tiger and a dragon? Yes. Basically, yeah, he's like a white tiger, saber tooth. Tiger with like dragon themes put together. Eight so cool! Ten. Eight out of ten. Scary. Yeah. Caleb? Scary big mm, dude. Nine. Oh. Nine. Yeah, no, he's pretty dope. Alright, next time we're going to Toby Kadachi! Ah, yeah, yeah. This, this guy's pretty cool too. Just the design alone, but we're gonna see how he. I just had a massive sport and I didn't even know what was playing, and I barely was paying attention. Uh, but I think I knew. Are you serious? 
Right you had, a, you had a concentrate on a fart so bad you weren't paying attention you to that whole clip? No, my brain had a fart. Wait, oh, your brain you had a fart. You want to watch what? it again? My brain had a brain fart. Why you need you to watch, watch it again? again? No. No, you don't want to watch it. Okay, well, then do you have a rating for yeah, it? But how are you supposed to rate if you don't know what are you watching or if you weren't paying attention? <laughs> Dude, pay attention. Six. Well, we can't do it because no. like, this, this video is already too long. It's going to be really long, so. We'll just have to move six on. So yeah, basically, he's a, it's a lightning. I'll just give it a it's six. a lightning squirrel snake thing. All right. Well, you better be pay attention for now, because now we're getting into the bigger monsters. Kale, okay. These are the cooler ones. All right, we're getting into the bigger, badder monsters. Let's do this. Oh, it's marshmallow. Yeah. To anyone who's seen videos before on this channel, this might look. This guy might look a little familiar. A grudge towards all. Given form in flame. Stalks unsuspecting creatures. That it seeks to make. Its prey turns round to face it. Preferring a hero's death. This purple fire will steal its final breath. Pray for its soul. I see. For this creature of pure evil shall swallow the world whole. Definitely, I don't know what I want to write right this one. Mm hmm. Ten. Oh, got a ten. Nine. Oh, close enough. Yeah, this guy was. This is a pretty cool monster. Uh, although, I will say in in the actual game, like in the demo, I'll just say this because you guys obviously there's no footage of this. But you know, in the demo, he was really hard. It was almost impossible. In the game, he's a stomp. I kicked his butt so many times. At least in low rank, which is when you first see him. In high rank, it's a different story. But then that's high rank, so of course it's gonna be harder. But yeah, I kicked his butt three or four times uh so it was crazy like the difference there but he's such a cool monster so it doesn't actually matter um but yeah he's a great design and he he actually his specs actually get bigger like he does an explosion thing and his specs get bigger he's really cool he's it, that's all i gotta say you know, it, it's a cool monster um okay so moving on to another returning monster from world What is this one? Oh, okay. And you're not. Tremors in the night. A feline runs in fright, hiding out of sight. But soon it is found, shivering in fear. around its foes already here you okay. run young feline run you have to get away for this beast is never done until it snags its prey relentless ruffian Run, kitty, run! So that's Anjaneth. Uh, he breathes fire, even though they didn't show it, but he's a fire monster. Um, but, you know, you can just rate off of that. So, ratings, go. Seven. 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 Wow, these numbers are getting higher now. Okay, okay, yeah. It's a pretty good design. He's a pretty good design. All right, now we're getting to more of the classic fan favorites here. Here's another one. He's not high up on my list for favorites, but I can see why people like him. Narga Kuga. Narga Kuga. This is a classic. Now here is a creature with smugness and guts. Haughty and arrogant. Look as it struts. 
Enter its turf. And suffer your fate. Watch as its eyes fill with rancor and hate. Don't try to run. It's already too late. Yeah, that's one of the coolest things. You see how it like wills red and then it leaves that after trail? That you see the after trail of this? He does that in game. It's really dope. Like so as you hunt him, you'll see these after trail glowing things from its eyes that light up like that. Did you say eight? eight. Seven. Kill said seven? Yeah, sit up, dude. Alright, so yeah. So pretty good. Here is another monster. This is actually this is that this monster's actually become one of my favorites uh recently. Uh it came out back in Monster Hunter Generations, I believe. Yeah, uh, or no, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's generation. That was the anniversary event. Uh, I could be wrong though, because I have terrible memory. Light blue bubbles reflecting the moonlight. <sighs> Wishing dancer, Mizutsune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prettiest monster I've seen. Mizutsune. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. I love. Oh, his ending animation goes to sleep. Aww. Ten out of ten. Ten just because ten out it's Mizutsune. Wow, pretty. these guys giving tens over here. Pretty. Yeah, like it, actually that the the. the the, that trailer, I mean, that intro doesn't really do a lot of justice for all the colors and how the lights reflect. This is just a really great design, and it's a really yeah, fun yeah, fight. Yeah. Um, one thing I gotta say, though, like, if you think that looks cool, y'all need to see Apex, Apex Mizutsune. The pinks become purples, the whites become mm -hmm. kind of like these blues, and its tail, you know that bushy tail? Mm -hmm. Crackles with lightning. Mm -hmm. Really cool. If I can, I'll throw a picture on there real quick. <laughs> yeah, Apex Mizutsune is really cool to look at, but will murder you. I, I, hunted, I hunted it, mm -hmm. like, twice, and it was scary. Okay, speaking of scary, get ready to meet the serial killer of, of Monster Hunter Rise. This guy, this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay, what are you? Run, run. The beast is on its way. From the snowy depths. It comes to okay. find its prey. <laughs> With its chilling breath, it forms a blade of ice. Then it goes out hunting for something to excite. Yeah, we gotta drag the sword. One wrong oh, step, we stepped onto it. and it's too late. Beast hears all. Look, I wait. The Limb Reaper, Gosharag. Yeah. Nine. That dude's pretty nasty. He's very much like a serial killer. Like, uh, don't get stunned around him when he has his swords out, cause he, that's it. It gets creepy. I'll just tell you that. I got stunned around him at my first tent, my on one of my first hunts, and. I won't go into details of how creepy he looked walking up to you all slow with his swords, but I almost peed myself. Cause he walks up all slow to you with his swords. Like really slow. Like 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 Jason for he's slow. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's ugh. eight out of ten. Eight out of eight. What did you say? Nine? Nine. Yeah. He's cool. Um alright, moving on to Rathalos! another classic yes, Rathalos. Rathalos. <laughs> Cave of crimson, flames billowing high. That is where he makes his nest. Best to not go nigh. You use that term already. It's best, best not go nigh. Fire. Fire scorching the earth. Incoming! From the sky. When his highness sets 
his eyes on you. It's time to say goodbye. King of the skies. Rathalos. Yeah, Rathalos, the, 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 the mascot of the entire franchise. This is the first monster to ever grace the cover of a, of a, of a game. Back in Monster Hunter 1, like 10, 15 years ago. Back in the day. Um, so how do you rate the original monster of Monster Hunter? Um, six. Eight. Ooh, six. Eight, eight. eight over scary. here. It's pretty scary. Yeah. Though, but it's not, not as scary. Like, but it's still scary, so I give it an eight. All right. Okay. Well, can you only say six? Didn't scare you? Okay. Well, you you've met the the Leviathan of clean cleanliness, which was Nitsune. Now meet the Leviathan of dirt. What? It means what you, it means what I said. A dirt. Look at the blood. It's a bull drunk. Ooh, but he's blooded. A grumpy old beast yeah. rises from the murk. It's Pumba. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. A booming voice resounds. That's disgusting. Hermit of the Swamp. Almadron. It's just mud. Don't worry about it. I know. Okay. Rating. Eight. Well, I guess it's... Never mind. Um... The light, oh, seven. The light is coming. Seven? Off. Off of oh, is it? Oh, I gotta move. Wait, right, now I gotta move this way. Yeah. Alright, good catch. Okay. Alright, so you said eight? You said seven? Yes. Alright, okay. Moving on to the next one, which I'm sure will get a high rating no matter what. I do. Because I said so. He's an ogre. Look upon its prowess. Its movement full of spark. Its claws cut through the silence. Its fangs bite through the dark. Gaze upon perfection. Thunder given form. Either knock its lights out or die fighting the storm. Lord of Lightning, Zinogre. That one was short. Nine out of ten. Caleb? Really cool. Eight. Really cool and scary. Okay. Alright, nine out of ten, eight out of ten. Both wrong. Ten out of ten. Always ten out of ten. Never never lower than that. That is the Thunder Prince, the Lord of Lightning. One of the greatest of all time. Okay, you ready? Yes. Right, for another time for another fan favorite. I like Tiger, so. Yeah. I was wanting to be the Tiger. <laughs> yes, you were. A deafening roar, rolling over hill and dale. Actually, this is the one at the uh, the armor and weapons I'm using. Not armor, and feet, but, but the strong prevail. Yeah, at least not when I'm using. Mean, I am using a hunting arm still. I just I also use a on the snowy mountain side. Oh, white yes. is drenched with red. Nom. When the ancient tyrant Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is scary, but it's not bad. Ten. Absolute power. Ten. 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 Wow. You really do like Tiger T Rexes, don't you? Just tell me. Yeah, he roars so loud it actually can hit you and damage you. Well, Kale says ten. Nine. Nine. Yeah, okay. Oh. Sheesh. Because I like Tyrannosaurus Rex. I like T Rex. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. more of a flying wild than a T-Rex. So what? He still kind of looks he like doesn't have, He doesn't have the little arms. Shush. Still kind of Alright, now on to another classic one, which I'm sure some of you might recognize from the movie. Ooh, Diablos. Okay. Oh, Diablos. Caleb knew it. I did not. Well, he's reading it. The name's oh. right there. <laughs> the wide plains of the desert are heated battlegrounds. 
do have a tier four. Suddenly, a rumbling, a world-shattering sound. Twin horns split the sand How y'all doing? <laughs> no longer earthbound. Let's slow down. For this is the true ruler of this dry dystopia. <laughs> Trespasser shall oh. be punished. Protect thy cornucopia. You gonna eat him? You got yeeted. What the heck? Tyrant of the desert. Oh, this is nine. Okay. Okay. Um, nine. Nine? Nine? Hmm. Tough you one. No, he's really scary. Nine and a half? Is that okay? Yeah, sure. We don't have any rules here. Okay, now on to pretty much the only bug in this game, but a cool bug. Only time I've seen a bug that breathes fire. Crawling with a mincing gait. Dressed in a white gown. Oh, that's an arachnid. Aimlessly she rolls. without a crown. Her beloved children, always by her side. I freaking hate spiders, but I like them too. Share their mother's temper and her fiery cry. Breathe fire. Close enough. Yeah. The wandering widow, Arachnakadaki. That is disgusting, but I love it. Yeah. Her baby's also webs. doing both fire. They're yeah, both her webs. webs. This is actually a pretty cool part of the design. You can break the webs. It's pretty cool. But the whole idea is that, that it looks like a messed up like wedding gown. Oh. So it's all part of that's why she's called Wandering Widow. It's like it's like she's like one of those wandering like like brides looking for their dead husband or something. It's creepy. It's cool. So rating? I would rate her five because I don't like spiders, but I think Ten. it's kinda cool, so I give it six. Alright, well, fair enough. It is actually kind of cool for a spider, you know, I don't yeah. I like arachnids, but I'm terrified of like spiders. Yeah. Well, Caleb digs the... Yeah, well, he probably digs the innovation of it. It's probably one of the coolest de bug designs they've done in a long time. Alright, time for another classic. The Master Monkey himself. <laughs> monkey. At a distant flight lies an island of fire. There walks a dark beast, a great ball of fire. Mm -hmm. Wielders of flame who dare to engage. Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> dodging that tail. Yeah, Destruction Incarnate, Rajang. Another classic monster. Uh, yeah, it was a good idea to run away. Rajang fights Elder Dragons, so you don't want to mess with him. Alright, Rath Rathalos is not an Elder, Elder Dragon. Is that a par monkey thing again? Yeah, he's kind of a he's kind of monkey ish. Uh yeah. ape ape. Yeah. Well no no, he has a tail. So maybe six. Apes don't have tails, that's the thing. So well, six? Seven. Seven? It was kinda of scary as hell. Yeah. Eight. Eight? So yeah. also he has those big horns, which is kinda of cool. Alright, so we're almost done. The final two now, the only two elder dragons that were actually in the initial game, and then we're gonna save the DLC for next time. Which will probably be a while, a few weeks from now. And first up, the first elder dragon. Which, by the way, very cool. Where is my queen? Where is my queen? I am storm incarnate. I shall wipe the land clean. So we may meet at last in paradise. 
Breath of Fire. It's pretty short, but you know, to the point. At least get to that crazy design. Terrifying. Yeah, it's another dragon too. Should be. Bye. Bye. Have a great time. Wow, where'd that tree come from? Tree. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> That was anticlimactic. I don't know. I think we died from the tree. All right. Wind Serpent Ibushi. Go. Ten. Hail is cool. Kel gives a ten because Elder colors, Dragons are awesome. Colors and designs, Hail cool. Yeah. Wait, did I win? I forgot. No, no, no. Oh. He doesn't. He's like a Leviathan. He's like, yeah, I think he's like oh, using right. gas and electricity to, to, to float. He turned out a creative Okay, okay yeah, so I'll like static electricity. eight. Eight. Okay. All right. The final monster before the DLC. Narwhal. Not Narwhal. <laughs> Not a, it's not a whale with a thing. Yeah, that, that. My king, oh my king, come forth now with haste. With my elegant lightning, let us lay this land to waste. Tear apart the skies, rend the clouds asunder. Pave the road to paradise with hurricane and thunder. Lady of Lightning, Thunder Serpent Narwa. That's good. Very good. I like that. Yeah, she's the final hunt. Um. Not the hardest, but you gotta stay on your toes. Have you gotten to her? Oh yeah, I mean actually yeah. Your mom watched me beat her like by myself. Mm -hmm. I did not. I did not. I mean I, I got carded twice because you get three tries. So they got me twice, but the final one I won. Nice. And it was pretty cool. I got pretty pumped. It was a pretty dope fight. Um, but you know this is not about me. You guys, mm. how do you rate the final boss? For mommy? So I wouldn't get it too low or too high so Nine. Nine. Okay, that's fine. I mean I Elder Dragons. But okay, so so there's those are their ratings. If I remember I might edit them in or I might be lazy and not edit it in. I don't know. Um but yeah, so those are the monsters. I would love to ask you guys what your ratings are, except we're not allowed to put comments in. Um so show yeah. us your ratings by liking and subscribing and, and the videos and sharing it with all your friends. Hey, what are you? Aren't you gonna what, what's your favorite monster at least? Tell them what Seriously? Doing. You should have said. What I should have made doing. it obvious. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the thing is with me, I'm already biased though, because I've, I've yeah, but they don't know. I've been playing this game favorite. forever. They don't okay. Know. Okay. So, um, all right. So my favorite, of course, is Zinogre. Don't be surprised if one day you walk in on one of my videos and I'm, I got a plushie sitting next to me because I, I want to get some Zinogre merchandise. Zinogre I just haven't done it yet because uh, I'm too busy collecting Transformers. Oh, Zinogre you know plushie. So yeah, one of my day, one day I want to get like a Zinogre plushie, yeah, maybe a Zinogre jacket because I love. Zenogre is my favorite monster. He's literally a thunder wolf. And Magnamello kind of looks like him, so I kind of like Magnamello too. Um, but yeah, Zenogre. Uh, Zenogre all the way. He'll always be a 10 That's out of 10. Diablos. Where's Zenogre? I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't actually clicking on Yeah, he's right there. Okay, he's right there. He's right there. Okay? Uh, you know, I fought him in the last game. I he's fought him in this cool game, and, and I still enjoyed it. He's, so, he's, he's a fun fight. He has the best theme song. Like, he, the thing, he has the be like, his theme song is my ringtone. Okay, that's how much I like Zenogre. Oh my gosh, that's your ringtone? Yeah. That's Zenogre? Yeah, yeah. If you're just like, wow. dun 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 and next time it'll be these guys. We'll be doing something together, okay? And hopefully next time with my new editing software, I'll give us a new intro too. So stay tuned for that. Ah! We're going to improve the groove. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye. 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 See you later, alligator. Are you going to leave this Yes. I'm, I'm a sprinkler. Today he's a sprinkler. Is this man okay? Alright, bye everyone.